continue our team coverage of the Harris visit. Political analyst Gary Dietrich joins us on set to talk about this. How much does her visit move the needle, given the fact, according to the polls, she's not a popular vice president? Is it the California connection they were going for? Well, I'll tell you what's the California cash they were going yeah, for, my friends. I mean, <laughs> fundraiser here in Sacramento tonight reportedly in advance, almost two thirds of a million dollars pledged to go to that event. Five cool 5K, Tony, to get okay. in for the bottom line ticket. You and then keep the silverware? And then no. absolutely not, oh. unless it's the plastic stuff. And then <laughs> and then uh, uh, LA too, big fundraiser yeah. as well. So that's a lot of what this was about. I mean, no danger right now for the Biden Harris ticket. You look at the polls; doesn't matter who you put on the Republican side, right? But it's important to kind of keep that base ginned up, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to the fundraising deal. And you know, we've got our own primary coming up in six weeks. 20% of voters in New Hampshire did not vote for Biden and Harris, right? So you want to you want to kind of keep make sure the home fires are being stoked. Yeah. Well, speaking of those uh, fires being stoked, the closer we get to the election, of course, things are only going to heat up. Talk about though other people around this, of course, VP here today. But what, where's Newsom? We've got so much happening here in the state mm -hmm. of California. I mean, how is he advancing this forward? Where is the governor? He's in South Carolina, right? The governor is out campaigning. Ironically, she's here and he's out campaigning for, for her. Who? We didn't oh, see him for, her, for Biden oh, and for Harris. Okay. Yeah, he's, sure. he's, he's been in this surrogate role. And yeah. People have heard about this, right? He's like the chief, you know, spokesperson in chief kind of for the Biden Harris ticket. They like to fly him around the country. He is in, you're exactly right, Tony, South Carolina and Nevada. Coincidentally, the first two states are going to be voting in 24 mm -hmm. and more than likely. Guess what? In 28 as well, when mm -hmm. somebody by the name of Gavin Newsom just might want to run in yeah. South Carolina and about. So that doesn't hurt either. That's not what he says, but hey, you know what? He says a lot. All right, let's bring things back local. Sacramento City has a big budget deficit. Uh, the Sac City manager, Howard Chan, has been in the news a lot, asking for a raise and more vacation time. And oh, by the way, he also wants to cut back on some city spending, even office supplies. Optics are so important, whether it's local politics or political stage on the grander yeah. scale. Yeah. What is someone thinking when they do that? And what are your thoughts on it? my alma mater of the Kennedy School, they would say, bad decision, okay? Yeah. You, yeah. you don't come out and ask for your own race mm. in the last three or four weeks, and then all of a sudden, travel ban. No more travel for city workers. Uh, hiring freeze. Office supplies. I mean, when you're down, we got a $50 million budget deficit, by the way, which the city manager says is structural. What does that mean? It's not going away this year. Okay, it's going to continue on and roll over year after year. That's a problem. I yeah. mean, that's a real problem, and it's not going to go away easily. But when you're starting to count paper clips, mm -hmm. you got an issue. Can I sneak one more in? Absolutely. Because uh, it just it. popped Tony in my Lopez. head. I heard someone say today to the presidential uh, race, back to the presidential race, the more former President Donald Trump attacks Nikki Haley and gets personal with what she wears or how she looks or what she says, it's going to benefit her because she's handling it well, according to some experts. Do you, do you subscribe to that? Do you think that her punching back in her way is going to be beneficial in the long run? Well, I think she, she's still doing that dance. Does not want to alienate the president, former president and his people, but also has an eye on 28. Okay. Right. So, I mean, th there's no question. I don't think Nick, Nick Ailey's is going to vaporize after this election is over. I don't think anybody believes that. So that's the that's the trick, Tony. Mm -hmm. How does she punch back enough, but still observe enough blows to, sell, shall we say, look presidential, right. look like she can take it in the big arena? And uh, I, I have no doubt that this is not the last we've seen of Nikki Haley. It's a delicate dance. We really took you around back to, yeah. you know, local, then back to mm -hmm. national. But Gary, but we can handle it, my friends. Could I get a Super Bowl pick time. from you since we're going all over the place? Uh, OK, <laughs> you're and if anybody thinks they're gonna gonna not going to pull off. for the Niners, you're crazy. OK, okay? <laughs> we are all in Just on the Niners. Unless you're a Chiefs fan. Well, well, Chiefs for the AFC, okay. but hey, listen, if they got to go head to head, there's, um, we got to go with the Niners. Gary, bro. he's bringing the shots tonight. I just want you to know I <laughs> kept okay. it easy for you. I'm, I am all in with, the, with my Niners. I'm well, good. Uh, 